Larkins, Lisa Lee of O'Connor. On table four, Rebecca O'Bara, Nicole Fielding. On table five, Sharon Brown, Cindy Blackmore. On table six, Marge Gorski, Carla Boud, table six. Table seven, Elise Harris, Annette Clifford. Table eight, Mayanna Aspinall, Jasmine Hadjuk. Please come to the admin area to collect your match slips and your tablets. This is a reminder that all matches must be live scored on the tablets. Any matches that have not been live scored will be forfeit by both players. So please live score your matches. Thank you. The men's matches will be called out shortly.
That's a second call for table three. Temple Larkins, Lisa Lee O'Connor, table three. Please come to the admin area to collect your match slip and tablet. Thank you. Now we have the ABF men singles. This is also the last 16. Each round is the best of 13, being a race to seven. On table 11, Jake McCartney, Andy Barnett. On table 12, Alex Pace, Sawan Naker. On table 13, Michael Cassiola, Peter Butterworth. Table 14, Jamie Stevens, Ben Noonan. Table 15, Alec Evernatus, Dave Ewing. Table 16, Shannon Purcell, Michael Hayes. Table 17, Brent Reid, Travis Crawley. And finally, table 18, Nick Young, Kale Barrett. Please come to admin and collect your match slips and your tablets. Thank you. Good luck everybody and play well.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to, I think it's day five of the 36th Australian Nationals. Have some great, what are we at, last eight matches of the men's singles for you today. Um, Alex Pace and Simon Naker just got underway. Um, on the first table. And uh, Jake's playing Andy Barnett on the second table. They're just warming up as we speak. So we'll, we'll concentrate on the Alex and Simon first frame. It was a dry break and he just laid a containing safety. I'm joined in the commentary today by Andy Urquhart. How are you today, Andy? Look, I'm uh, I'm chipper actually. I um I had a couple of good nights sleep after a couple of big uh, big emotional days, but um, uh, the teams have been going great. But I tell you what, with what's on show today, is uh, this is going to be phenomenal in the singles, um, in all the categories. Yep. So uh, yeah, look, I'm, I'm uh, I haven't seen a lot of Alex and Sarwan play, but I've certainly seen a lot of Jake and Andy Barnett play. So. Um, I know Alex is a phenomenal young talent that's got pretty much the world at his feet. It's a great cue action. And, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward. Really looking forward to, um, to, to Jake and Andy. Australia have actually been, um, been after both of them to play a, a, a money match. Oh, and, yeah. um, I think Jake's actually waiting for the pot to go up before he um, before he says anything. But uh, we've got a red J going on here. Pardon? <laughs> we've got a red J going red on. Red J on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's a good break. Yeah, he's a huge breaker of the balls. He um, it's, that's uh, he reckon that's one of his secrets. So. Um, but look, Andy Barnett's a, a massive breaker as well. Yeah. So uh, it's going to be for us to predict what these two are going to be playing. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'd be doing them a disservice to, to try and try and guess what they're going to do. It's only a matter of what I'd try and do. But um, look, Jake, Jake's uh, I guess yellows here. Yeah. yeah. With that red stuck there behind the, the bottom yellow on the right. He might cover this pocket better and leave the light touching the red ball on the right. Like tuck it in behind it. Oh, hang on, it'll be open table. He's got a potty yellow. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Open, yeah. Mm. And he's not going to. 
he's not going to like that. No. Yeah, so he potted a, potted a red and um, elected to go yellows and has failed in doing that, so it's still open table. Simon's on and out there, over there on the yellow balls. Yeah, he's got to get a bit of an extraction on that one, um, the yellow off the red in the middle. Yeah. That's about his own problem, but they're, um, they're spread around enough that he should be able to do that. The two yellows below that as we look are probably the best two balls to try and get a cannon. Hmm. Yeah, I think he was actually looking to be, a, with the cue ball, I think he was have, looking to have that a little bit more on the right-hand side, so he could have probably screw back into there, so yeah. he's, he's going to have to do a little bit of work to get around. That yellow actually next to the red might go in the top right hand corner. It's hard to tell from the camera angle. Mm. Yeah, he's looking at it now. Mm. And he's on a, out on the yellows over here as well. 20 seconds. Just getting the black off is the main issue. Yeah, look, he's probably going to be able to extract that if he gets down and, and gets that um, yellow next to the black into the centre. Mm. He should be able to kick it out there, but um, it's a matter of him actually getting onto that. You can, yeah, you can do it that way, or you can use the one at the bottom of the table on the rail there to do yeah. it. It's two options. Well, there you go, he's on it now. A bit so too straight, he won't get position. Yeah, that's his neck. That's his problem on the next um, the next ball is his position. Mm. I'm not sure what he'll play here. The way he's doing that carefully, he's, I don't know whether he's got enough of that yellow even just to um, to knock it into the knock it into the pocket even further. Mm. If it's me, I'm going to come cross table with the white and the yellow that's on the bottom cushion. I'm going to just nudge that over the hole. Oh, okay. like an inner over sort he's of he's going to try and oh he did he could oh, that was lame. might have to double it right now yeah <coughs> or he, he can he's going to or he could play this bottom rail mm -hmm. um, set up for that uh, the yellow down the bottom here into the middle mm -hmm. And then probably even double the yellow and then kick the black out with that as well. That's a beautiful shot. Now he's got options. Yeah. You can go into the black. Maybe half ball on the left side. Even three quarter ball. That'd be a good result there I'd say. Like not 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 pacey, mm. you know. Just a control shot. He's not to judge it very well because he, he could um, he could punch that yellow ball just past the, um, the pocket. Yeah, like, that's what you're saying, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's OK there. It's, it's, he, it's, he's yeah. still up there, but he's still got a lot of work to get round back onto the black. He's just going to move the white a long way here. Mm. Coming off three cushions. Off three cushions, and he's got the um, that top red mm. that if he, um, if he slams into. And then he could hit that red in the middle mm. and stop him himself. I guess at worst, if you miss the reds, you're going to have a double at least. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, missing the reds, he's going to he's going to be only in three or four pockets. So um, I reckon he does miss the reds because he's going to hit the right rail just before the ball climb, uh, and he'll just miss that red. I reckon on the top rail. So he's going to have to come three rails and, and, and um, yeah, that's the shot back in the middle. That's a beautiful shot. Could not have placed that any better, Barney. That's, that's beautiful. What's going on over here? So uh, one's uh, breaking out. He's pulling the red over where he's got covered. <coughs> just didn't hit it hard enough. Mm. It's a good shot, but you've got to execute it. Oh, he's had oh, he's two, two. Oh, that's okay. Alright, yeah, uh, Barney's 1-0 up. We both commented on Jake game yesterday and I think it was did Justin had Jake did the same thing in the first round didn't he? Gave one away but then Justin gave it back to him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, remember. So this is gonna be a big test, race to seven. Mm. Yeah, look, so one should take this first frame out very easily. I don't know what um Alex did to uh, give him two visits but uh back in the right middle made, made him pay. Left middle, left middle. <coughs> nice shot. 
So I want to be um, chasing the prize money here to pay for his next holiday, or pay for his <laughs> last one. <laughs> What actually is the prize money for the um, men's singles? No, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what it is. <coughs> Just trying to have a look on some of the outer tables here. Um, Noonan Stevens' first frame is finished. And the score's automatically updated up top. As they put it into the pool start? Yeah, but they've got to put it into the pool start. Mm. So that's apparently, the no, apparently if you don't use pool start, you get disqualified. That's what they were saying over the microphone. Oh, okay. So the only the only ma men's match we're missing in the scores up top is Nick Young and um, Kale Barrett. So maybe we might try and keep them, keep you updated on their score. Yeah, there's, there's only so many tablets for the for it as well. So um, I think I think they have 16 tablets. They should be right <coughs> if they're all charged. <laughs> if they're all charged, everybody's one nil up. Okay, so Benny Noonan's got up over Jamie Stevens the first frame. Uh, so the Battle of the Aussies there. Battle of the South Aussies. Um, Alex taking it off Dave Ewing. It was Barney's break you were talking about? Yeah, he's uh, he's breaking big, breaking big. Not sure if I go yellow or reds here. Um, the reds link better, but the starter is harder. Exactly, yeah. So that's the choice you have. <coughs> oh, the yellows aren't too bad either. I mean, he's um, even though those two balls that are near the centre, he can he can bang both of those into the to the right hand centre, but um, yeah. that that. Um, Yellow on the balk line is he might even be able to kick that out now. Just try the flip side on, that's not bad. Yeah, look he can, happy that, happy he can just you can just snap that into the um, left left middle, mm. run down the table. You know what? That's the problem, the white's the problem there. Yeah. It's, it's hard to land really nice. Mm. Look, if you, if you get some good position on A ball, it doesn't matter which ball it is, if you get some good position on mm. A ball after this shot, mm -hmm. I reckon I reckon he's out. Yeah, I think so too. So he's taken his medicine and he's left the long pot, which is fine. But yeah, look, it's an easy, it's an easy run down for this um, this bottom right into the middle. Mm. He's got the other two. This is just plonk, plonk yeah, pool. If that yellow goes in the middle, it's, it's really good. Yeah. Twenty Young Alex is on the out, and the yellows on the other table. Mm. They look nice too. They seem very nice. Those yellows. Barney's missed the pot. Barney's missed his pot too. I'm not sure whether he was trying to, to cover that or whether he's just undercut it. Mm. I think it was a bit of a delicate shot because you had to have the right line of the next shot. Mm. It had to be somewhat straight. So I think he was concentrating really on the pace. And mm. you know, if the table rolls a little bit here and there on those soft ones, it's not hard to miss. But he's got a half a result there. Although Jake is going to be able to punch that red out. Oh, like he's that. stiff on that. Um, yes, very much so. It's a good shot. <coughs> I like the shot. And look, you're going to see Jake be aggressive where he can be. Yep. Uh, that's the nature of the beast. Yep. So, um, which is really good. And if both of these guys are going to be attacking, and particularly with the 2020 clock shot. Yeah. In, in any um, untimed matches, both of them do take their time yeah, a yeah, lot. And yeah. they, 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 can, um, they can be uh, time fouled if they're, if they're actually being timed. Mm. But um, these are the sorts of players I've actually really loved to see playing the 2020 rule. Yeah. Just quickly over here, I saw one. I like rolling this red in and then having the red, the big pocket up the line up to the clear line, it. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then all the doors open. Yeah, well, this is his this is his money shot. This one. Yeah. I think you've got to. 
I would, I'd like to see him put a bit of left hand side on this and get on the red at the bottom as we see it. Yeah, I'm, um. And then it will link really nice. He's doing it. He's doing it. Oh, he's unlucky not to let the drop. He would have been on to. And look, he was, he was, uh, he was ripe on that uh, red down the bottom yeah, here yeah. to keep going. So Barney, what's he going to do with this <coughs> pocket coloured situation? You can cut it out, you know. I think that's what yeah, he's doing. Yeah, no, got to kick it in, kick yeah. in the bomb. But because the yellow's so close to the red, if you don't hit a thick, you're going to pop the red. Mm. I think he's looking at, at potting this uh, this top yellow into the bottom left and then coming off the bottom cushion. Yeah, that's what he's and doing. And kicking the yellow out. Yeah. Because if he kicks it out, then he's got a little bit of a hole but down he's the rail. He's got to play with pace this time. Yeah. Oh. And he's missed it, and that's the end of the frame. More than likely. I'm not wasting one of my calls on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so you're safe today, mate. I'm um, I'm uh, being subdued today. Yeah. Not by anyone in particular, but um, just by myself. Ooh. <coughs> Look, this is okay. These are all on for Jake. He's. Yeah. Um, he plays pretty much anything off the rails, so um, and he doesn't have to do a lot of work here. Left middle, top right, top left, right middle, left middle. That's Black. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think there's any other way that's good to play that than that order. Mm. Look, he's got he's got perfect transition here, yeah. that's, and he doesn't need to do much work on on the white to um, to get onto the next one. So. Mm. And when, he, and when he's feathering, you never know what he's going to do because he's, it, it doesn't matter if it's going to be a hard shot or a soft shot, his feather is exactly the same. Yeah, someone's just got so unlucky with that cannon. He's played a beautiful positional shot to, to pop the, the red off the yellow and then the yellow's kissed his red he's landing on to the side rail, so now he's not. Yeah. <laughs> The confidence to, to play a, um, a colour ball that hard mm. down the rail. Um, there's very few players that can do it. Mm. There's a lot of lot of players that think they can, but there's very few players that can actually execute that. Yeah, that's one of those ones. Like when you're practicing at home and you cue it nice all the time. Mm. <laughs> when it comes to the pump, easily to just drop it in, be scared and just drop it in. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> nice out from Jake. So uh, that uh, goes to one all. <coughs> Boy, Michael Kakiol is um, not showing any love to um, <laughs> Butters. <No. laughs> Feels like 3 0 in about, what, 10 minutes? 10, 15 minutes, 3 0. That's good pace. Yeah. Oh, look, we don't know how the brakes have gone and, um, you know, whether they've been, you know, six, seven ball run outs or whatever, but. Um, yep. away from uh, Alex, he can play this as a sh in or over. Uh, naturally land on the last yellow. Nice shot. Yeah, beautiful base. So he's got enough over the cushion there that he can sort of play this with a little force and um, bring the white ball back down into the middle of the table or just plonk it in and, and bring the black down to the uh, bottom right. Jake's got one of each. Another tricky decision to be made with the balls. Yeah, he's played with force and pretty easy cut into the, what into the little bag. What colour are you going on Jake's frame? Pardon? Which colour would you like to go on Jake's frame? Oh, look, I don't think... Oh, red. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, nice black from Alex. <coughs> so at least he's established red. Yeah. So the, um, he doesn't, um, he hasn't got a real good opener either. I don't think the pot out's on here, I've got to come up with some sort of a safety shot. For Andy? Yeah. He's, he, the pot out's, he hasn't even got an opener really. No, he's got a, 
The only one that he's really got is the right. Oh, he's gonna smell her. Gonna smell her or um, I'll I drop it. No, I'll smell it. I I thought you'd double the one on the right hand side, Raoul, close to the uh, red that's touching the yellow, just to create a bit of traffic there. Uh. Andy Andy hasn't got the smother there. It's no. um. The reason I didn't like this. The smother is because Jake has three reds in the middle of the table to play the triple plant, mm. so it's not really effective. Yeah. <coughs> well, that that um, that shot didn't matter how he played; he was he's, he's on a hiding to nothing now. Yeah. Yeah, Jake's got a free crack at the out. That's the insurance ball, as we call it. <laughs> now he can smother it. I don't want to smother now. Because he's knocked those three reds and they're not on nice. <coughs> so use the second yellow to smother, I think. Yeah, but he needs to be careful with the pace on this because he, um, if he overdoes it, he's, he's giving away two visits. I don't mind giving away two there. Like, you don't want to, but if you do, it's oh, not bad. It's not oh, worth the risk. Not, on, not in this position. No. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. That is sensational. That is a great shot. It is a good shot, but the whole thing is, is that um, <coughs> it now gives Jake two different ways to play a plant. The way I see it, yellows were stuffed. So you, mm. had to, you had to come yeah. up with a shot to slow Jake down, and he's done that. Mm. If Jake wins from here, then, he, then you're happy to lose like that. You've done everything you can. I mean, like, Jake's going to play the triple plant. With pace, where's that red going to go? You don't know. No, he's actually going to play the play it onto the right hand top ball, and the red's going to come back down the table somewhere. There you go. It's, it's landed. On. It's landed open. So that that's good for him. But you know, it could, that could go anywhere. Yeah, but know. it was always going to come down the table though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it, it, it wasn't going to get stuck up that, that yeah, top pocket. So, yeah, yeah. Ben Andy by um by actually. Uh, Putting that other yellow there has forced Jake to play it that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. And he'll just do it every time. Yeah. It's a nice, nice pot by Jake. Yeah. You gotta land nice here. I think he wants to be on the right hand side, red next. Yeah, he'll take something over to the. Oh, he's landed short. I honestly thought he would have actually taken that high red. Um, into the bottom right hand corner. I think it's a bit thin, I think. Yeah, but he, um, but if he, he still had this bottom one down on the bottom left that he's mm. already just played, mm. so. Um, oh, he backs his skills to get that white up oh, every time. I think yeah. he's just decelerated a little bit. Yeah. <coughs> good looking shirt he's wearing, too. You can't say the same thing two days in a row, mate. Come on. <laughs> no, I said it was a nice looking shirt. But... Good double. Missed it. <coughs> right, Andy, here's, here's another chance. So Andy's going to have to go out here. It's not easy. Unless, unless he's... Um, you know, I, like, I like the triple plant if you can somehow get there. Mm. Put this dead yellow onto the other two up there. Yeah. You see? See this yellow near the middle pocket? Yeah. On the left, I think. I think oh, he's disturbed that, so he can't play that anymore now. Unless he's trying to pop the yellow off the red to kill the red, maybe. Yeah, I don't know if there's enough room. He's looking at it. I don't know if there's enough room to get it in there, actually. I think there is. But it won't kill the red because the red will hit the jaw and bounce back to the middle of the yeah. Um, I think you just back yourself and go for the positional out here. He's, he, uh, he's actually going to He's gonna have to play the one into the top pocket. To give himself better position so that he's got more yeah, options. He'll do that. I, I like that. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. That's a great shot. So we can uh, run this down bottom left. Yeah. He's got the follow through. He's got this one on the bottom <laughs> rail, bottom right. And then I don't think he will follow through. I think the one on the bottom rail he'll leave last. <coughs> because if you follow through, you, you're likely to miss this part. You see? You could do it that way. 20 seconds. Actually, I don't mind either way. 
Either way is fine. <coughs> this is a big shot. Whichever way he plays it. Well, you, this is this is his game ball, really. Mm. So um, if you're actually enjoying the um, the show, if you're actually enjoying the live feed, not necessarily the commentary, um, <coughs> donate to uh, Cue Ball TV. Keep some money coming in so we can um, have Dan at events like this and, and others. Um, one of the best things that have happened to um, Q Sports in Australia is, is this format, so um, please support it. Mm. Not even not even much as well, like five dollars even. It's much appreciated, you know. Sort of thing a couple of years ago about um, donating to um, to a charity, and, and all they said was uh, just don't buy one cup of coffee. And whatever, oh, whatever, yeah. so whatever, yeah. so whatever yeah. you, um, whatever you spend on a cup of coffee, just donate mm. to the charity, and it's just so simple. Mm. And he needs a bit of angle on his next shot. He needs bounce. He's got it. Yeah, be up that. Simon's playing well on the other match as well. Mm. Got an out last frame. He's on another one this frame. delinquent here, I need to um, share this uh... You know how you're talking about Cassiola being 3-0 up in not long? Yeah. Have a look at Ben Noonan's score up there. Yeah, yeah, look um, Back Benny. to the Ben of old, eh? Back to the Ben of old, yep. Yeah. Nice positional shot from Andy to get high enough on that black to take it on the, in the bottom left corner. And that's a good out from Andy. One thing I've noticed about Andy, he has a lot of fight and character. Like he, he's mentally tough. I, I think. I'll just get a quick score update for you guys on the Nick Young, Kyle Barrett match. Find it on my phone. And I'm just trying to find the link here so that I can put these up onto a few Facebook pages. So, um, oh, Nick Young and Carl Barrett isn't using the live score. There's a few other matches as well. There's Brent Reed, there's Neil Orr with Travis Crawley. Um, Shannon Purcell's 2 1 up on Michael Hayes. and the rest of the scores we know. If you want to look at the scores, just go to the AEBF website and the pool stats scores are linked to that. Um, <coughs> so, Andy's done another huge break. They're both breaking amazing. They are. How are those balls sitting? Um, reds? Yeah, you have to get reds. You got those two reds that you can drop on the black with. Yeah. Actually, that's, I wouldn't mind betting that he's this high red in the in into the left centre, and then yeah. maybe um, yeah, come and try and kick that black out, kick the black down, so then he's got. Um, I think one of these two reds in the bottom left. I don't like kicking the black, it's risky. Yeah, I think he's, he's dropping in behind the two reds, I yeah, think. He was, look, think. He's looking, he was looking at it. It's not bad. Yeah, that's a good shot. Um, <coughs> hmm, he's going to have to pop, pop the red last into the middle pocket, I would say. It's not easy. It's not easy. Matt Rugg Galloway. I'm not sure if yet. Oh, that's beautiful. That's on in the middle. That is a good shot. 
I'm not sure what um, what Andy Barnett does in in comps up in um, surfers. <coughs> Dan just gone and checked the scores from us, and Nick and Kale were one all. Yeah, Lee's um, he's actually adopted me as his father. Not I haven't I haven't picked him as a son, so um, I'll uh, I'm not laying claim to that one. So Andy could only just drop that ball in the middle, so that means he just couldn't had no position. You just had to take your medicine. Now he's got a thinner cut on. Might be worth trying to nudge the black here, because it's not easy to land on it. No, he's, yeah, he's going to have to play a little bit of bottom, scoot across the table and, and chop the black out a little bit. It looks natural to me. I think it naturally hits it. Oh, he's just, just missed, it. missed it. Good effort. Now, I don't think it's... It doesn't look like it's going to pass that um, one of those yellows on the left-hand side into the centre. No, it goes in the middle because the red he played before that to drop into that middle was lower than the black. Oh, OK. However, that black's not easy to double back that far. See that? Ah, he's looking at the triple. Triple down the bottom right. Nah. Yeah. No. That yeah. Wow, or the quad. <laughs> That's the triple. <laughs> that was nah, no, he was actually looking at the. Um, he was actually looking at the triple. He was lining up. Well, I, I think he's more chance of cutting that back in the middle for the double. Obviously, it wouldn't go. Otherwise, he would have. Mm. I mean, he's not. He's not shy. Mm. <laughs> so Jake's would clean these up. Thanks, Evan. Where are you from? He's from a WA boy. A WA boy? Yeah. Good old Evan Briggs. Is it because you've got a WA boy on here? <laughs> <laughs> no, Evan, Evan likes watching the pool. <clears throat> so there you go, Matt. Um, Barney plays every week on the Gold Coast. Plays out of snooker world, I believe. Probably a little, yeah, it's, I was just going to say it's a little bit straight into the middle for um, for Jake, so he chopped that one up off the top. Yeah, that's this the is now, this is out, this is finished. Yeah. This is a good thing about these two, or oh, well, most of the top line players here mm. anyway. That um, they uh, if they get a sniff, they'll they just take it. You always play the yellow where the black is. That way you can dead weight drop it in. Yeah. Yeah. Just takes all the pressure off the shot, you know. So he'll um he'll run the white ball down, probably give himself a little bit of angle off the um oh, he's going for it now. Yeah, yeah, he's going, 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 going for it now and then he's yeah, just naturally enough. naturally yeah. up the table to um yeah. take the one in the middle and finish it and to take it to all. Yeah. So what have we got on the other one? Alex is on out on the reds. Nice double. Yeah, that's a good double. No, this is just um The Reds are actually a very tough out there. That requires some pinpoint white position. Mm. These dip that red on the left hand side and the red in the middle of the three is very tricky to negotiate. Oh Butters is working up against Cax, he's uh, now only one frame down. And Jamie Stevens has got his first on the board. Dave Ewing's got one back on Alec to um, go one all, so um, I'd be surprised out of the eight matches that are on that six of them don't go to the hill, hill, hill. You reckon all six, six of them out of eight go to hill, hill? I reckon, I reckon they will, yeah. All right, I reckon... 20 seconds? Four or less will. Four or less? Yeah. So we'll, we'll have a drink on that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he's he's going on a nice angle so here. <coughs> this is a very interesting shot from Alex. Is you got to get in and around the traffic. Oh, he's 
that's good stiff. That's that's not a good result for poor Alex. He was in the juicy area. He just didn't, yeah. didn't land on. <laughs> Look, if he's rolled two balls. Mm. Actually, that's a nice shot. Uh, no, Matt, he hasn't uh, represented Australia. He's, um, as Benji said, he's been over here a couple of years now. I believe he's naturalised. So um, this is Andy Barnett. So I believe he's naturalised and um, he's keen to, to represent Australia. So he's he's well and truly settled here with his wife and family and his job and everything. So um, he's extremely happy, happy up here. So Barney's on another out. <coughs> I don't think that yellow goes at the top of the table. I think both reds cover the corner, so he's going to have to do something about that. <coughs> well, Alex has got out of that uh, that snooker extremely quickly. He didn't really even look at that. He just gone, He'll be stepped in up to the table and gone bang. He'll be in another one in a second. Yeah. <laughs> I don't reckon he gets over that one. Like Good morning, Tush, my um, beautiful brother. How are you, fella? What are you going to do with this yellow up top here, Andy Barnett? Which one? The one just below the balk line at the top of the table. Well, above the balk line as we see it. Above the balk line? Yeah, the one in between the two reds. Oh, OK. Uh, <laughs> doesn't go to either corner, you see? No, it doesn't. Whether he can actually just... It's not easy. No, it's not. He may well transition round to the one that's actually on the balk line on the left mm -hmm. and then play up the table and, and hopefully kick the yellow out or kick one of the reds out so he's got got, got a passage to a pocket. The problem is if you, pop, if you kick one of the reds out then you're on the other corner which is blocking by the other red. <laughs> so I think if you're going to do that, yeah, you're right, you're going to have to go into the yellow. Yeah, there you right. go, he's, he's come across. He's, he's, he's eyeing something. Mm. I think he's gone a little bit too far than what he wanted to. Yeah, he's so there you go. He's, he's, he's looking at promoting that yellow across to the right-hand side. He doesn't have the angle he wants. He's too far. I know, he ball. doesn't now. Yeah. He doesn't now, but that's what he was looking for. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So what do you do now? Come off the side rail, bottom rail, trying to kick it in the bum or something? He's not loading up. He's just going to play this very gently. Yeah, he's trying to force the angle. Yeah, right. look, he got it. Yeah, he did get he it. He actually got it, but he's, he's unfortunately missed the pot. I'll give him points for effort there. That yeah, was, that was yeah. good. But, um, yeah, so I don't know whether you saw, but he actually walked around there before he played that, that yeah. one into the middle, yeah. trying to look where he'll position yeah. he was going to yeah. get on for that yeah. exact shot. So um, it's interesting the way that they, they actually go around and do look that. Mm. I don't think Alex Pace is playing like he's annoyed. I think it's more sometimes when you're snookered, it's better off to hit it hard because if you do get out, it's give you a chance of potting it. Mm. It looks like you're, you're slapping the balls, but you, there is intent behind the shot. Yeah, and look, to be fair, it wasn't all that hard to get out of. It was a one rail um, to get out of snooker, so... And someone of Alex's ability, he doesn't need to walk around and, you know, have a look exactly where it's going to go off the cushion, everything like that. He was confident in himself. So, mm. and at the end of the day, it it, um, it gave him a chance to stay in the um, in the frame. Mm. But um, unfortunately, so and had some balls to hide behind and um, keep doing the sneakers on him. So. One of you guys asked what the score was between Fiona and Ella. I'll see if I can get Dan to bring up the, the women's matches and I will quickly run through the scores for you guys. Well, Tush, you can um, just keep on taking a look at the photo that you took of me last week, so that should cheer you up. All right, so Temple Larkins is 1-0 with Leslie O'Connor. Beck O'Mara is... 1-0 down against Nicole Fielding. Sharon Brown's 1-0 up against Cindy Blackmore. Mark Gorski's 3-0 up on Carla Bowd. Lindell Element is 2-1 down against Fiona Plummer. Annette Clifford is 2-1 up on Elise Harris. Jasmine Hadjuk is 
two one up on Mayana Aspinall, and Nicole Walsh is two one up on Tia Rayburn. And that's great positioning by Jake. He, um, the previous shot he tried to disturb the red and the black, mm -hmm. but um, he's, he's transitioned around beautifully. I'm not quite, doesn't look like that red off the black is going to go. Yeah, I'd say it would. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's had a look at it a couple of times, and I'm not quite sure if he's feeling. Um, Looks on. Yeah, yeah. He's, it's on. Yeah, Mackenzie Brown. I don't know how you can say the standard's awful. It's um, there's a hell of a lot of pressure out there, and um, these guys are used to playing pretty much no clock or 30-30. Um, this is this this is 2020, so um, it's. Uh, that's the pressure that they're under. Nice shot from Jake. That's a great shot from Jakey, yeah. 3 2. We've got a low. We've got to lower the voices here because the, um, the players that are adjacent to us, the ladies in front of us, can hear us. So, um, if we're being funny, it's okay, but if we're being serious, it's, yeah. it's no good. Mm -hmm. Someone's on and out on the reds. <coughs> good chance. Unless that bottom row's not on. That's probably mm. why he's trying to put a red down there. Yeah, he's a um, tough tr transition to uh, that red up behind the L on the top left. Mm. Just got, just got difficult all of a sudden. Yeah, well he's. I don't know why he's actually played that so hard that cannon. Mm. I think he's tried to put that red somewhere near Promote, there. Promoted to get. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Close and he's trying to do it again. And he's lucky with that. <coughs> Big break from Andy there, he's come up dry. Hasn't really left a, a shot on Thanks for your concern, Tush. Yeah, that's a good shot. That's a very nice shot from Stalin. What show you playing here is uh, Jake. It's open table, but there's no, it's not easy. Nah, he, he's, he likes yellows. He knocks the senior, reckon? Yeah. Attempts to knock it in. Yeah. Not too bad a leave. I mean, that, that this bottom yellow here is gullible into the. Mm. Is that a word, gullible? Not pro by proper English standards. Well, it is now. You can, it's, you it's can say it's what you like to It's an Aubreyism. Yeah. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, we'll How see about you say can. gettable? It's gettable. Yeah, look, Harriet, it's a matter of uh, what you're used to. It's, um, I mean, I'm sure if uh, a few poms come over to Australia, you'd have difficulty with our conditions, and, um, and so it's got to be got to be vice versa on that. Both have their challenges. Um, Jake certainly spent a lot of time on a supreme table this year, um, particularly for the supreme series, and um, he's. He's extremely confident with it, but he said he hasn't got there all the way. But the whole thing is, is um, uh, every table Great shot is going to have some different pace about them. So, um, yeah, it's interesting. See that shot Jake played? Just developed three yellows on the left side at pace. Hey, Sahil, how you doing, bud? I can't, um, can't shout that out to Jake, but... Uh, I'm sure he knows that um, who's behind him. So Jake, oh, good white ball so that, controls yeah. needed here. So that was a good yellow. That's that's he's picked the gap beautifully there. Mm. Are you taking the one into the top right corner now? Top left. Top right. This one in the middle of the table to the top right. Uh, you're confident. No, it's because the it's the shot. It's the shot. It's the shot. Yeah. 
Yep, so we can ex ex mm. extract this other, the red off the yellow, the yellow off the red. Oh, what a shot, Jake. That's a beautiful that shot. shot. And that's left in absolute gorgeous position oh, on this yellow in the middle. Oh, class. Now, when you have a look at a shot like that, the pace that he's played that, mm. and his opening yellow mm. that he tried to put down here on the, on the bottom right, mm. you wonder, <laughs> there was no difference. There was no difference oh, in the degree of difficulty. Oh, there was. Because his opener was down the rail, so you've got less pocket to aim for, whereas this yellow was in the middle of the table, oh, so you have the full pocket. Yeah, but he had a, he had a bigger angle on it. Mm. But you'll see Jake knock those in eight, eight times out of ten down that rail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, well, that was one of the two then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I hope he, uh, hope he clunk, I hope he smacks the next one down there and um, well, he'll just get, doesn't touch the sides. He'll get eight out of the next nine. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> so um, Peter Butterworth dragged back, um, bag dra dragged back to three all, and mm. um, Jamie Stevens has got two back on Benny. So. Um, yeah, look, uh, it's taken a few of the players to get into it. Some mm. of them have come out of the blocks and the other ones are playing catch-up, but the ones that are, are, um, are certainly getting in there. So. And, uh, Shots, that one. Oh, Tia that's... Rayburn's just got that frame there. Is someone on that red? That is. It's a bit stiff if he's not. I think he is. I think he's just worried about where the white ball's going to drag to really thin yeah. so thin so he's actually going to have to oh. oh that's stiff jakey unfortunately he's had to play that hard enough to get through some traffic so jake's decided he couldn't hold there so he thought he'd go up and down the table hasn't quite put enough check side on and then the white's come off on the wrong angle and he's snooping himself oh good attempt by um so I went for that red into the middle but he's managed to kill kale's um Yellow. And he needs this out. <coughs> yeah, he does. He, he needs to finish this. He missed the last one he took on. Has to get this one. Well, they're all on. That should, again, this just should be plonk and pot. Yep. Doesn't need to do anything spectacular. The thing is, you say that, but then one bad position shot, and then yeah. you're fighting it. Yeah, yeah. So just make sure you're on it from the start. Right. Give each shot every respect that it deserves. Oh yeah, yeah, most definitely. <laughs> I think he's going to run in the one in the top left and try and land on one of the two middles if he can. And, and again, he doesn't need to do anything special with the white ball. All he only needs to do is just run it. Sorry, Lee, I'm, um, I'm fearful of what you're going to say next. I stand corrected. Oh, did he? Did he play for this one? I'm not sure. That's very strange. They, they looked on to me, those reds. And the whole thing, if, 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 he's, if he's played for the snooker... He didn't look happy when he was walking away, so no. I imagine he... I don't, I don't, I don't know what happened there. I think he was going for the pot, because this is going to be an easy, um, easy snooker to get out for Jake. I'll tell you what, he's capable of potting this too. Oh, that's missed by nothing, but it's a great leave. No, he's, on the, he's on the middle. Is he on the middle? Yep. It's three all, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, Andy, don't <laughs> let me down. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the 
funny game. Yeah, doing good shield. It's um, a beautiful place to be in. It's a fair bit chilly at night, but um, days have been quite nice. Morning, Matt. Good to see you tuning in. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. Some great pool being played here in Albury. Uh, Donny, these ones that we're playing on here are around about 26, 2700 Aussie dollars. Yeah, I'd say so. So if you're in the UK, probably around about 1800 quid. Use the strong cloth, um, the all the all the pockets are cut to the AEBF uh, template. Andy, what's the shot on the left hand side table? On reds. On reds? Yeah. Uh -huh. Who's on it? Uh someone I think. Someone's on. Um he's gonna have to hit the left. Oh no, he's going across the table. I think he's going to get them both he's out. Go, he's going to break them both out. No, he's, oh, he's or like, kill the other yellow. Yeah, that's not bad. Yep. Let's uh, just turn this into a boring game now. Alex will roll up to this one bottom left as we look. Look, there's every chance that Alex can, can come down and pop this one and then get a. In, he'll be on a good enough position to pop the top left. He'll never and, do that. And kick the. Eh? That's he'll too risky. He's got him by the balls. He'll, he'll just roll up to this. Oh, wow. Oh, I see it. Holy golly. That's a better result for him if it stays up because. Now Sarwan can actually get that ball that's closest to the left hand pocket out. No, he'll pop the yellow. That's the shot. Yep. Now Alex will double this back down and get a recover. Yeah, I would have actually preferred... Um, I would have preferred Sarwan to actually play the, off, off, his, off that red. Wow, what? He's dumped that with pace. Some of these younger guys have no fear. I'm just soft doubling that back, putting it back over the hole. <laughs> then he can't put it because it's a fast sure. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And look, you're right, the young guys have got no fear. I've seen something... Um, uh, some of our juniors in Victoria and yeah. they just go out no fear whatsoever they'll take anything on yeah. and you know what two thirds of the time they make it yeah yeah okay they're just they're, they're maniacs yeah. obviously I'm maniacs so this is an easy finish for Sarwan Benny Noonan goes two up on Jamie Stevens now that's not a great shot from Sarwan because now he's hitting the yellow on the way out um, don't no, think you can. No. I don't think you can not hit that. No, can you, you miss you're going to go past the yellow. You need to get it. You'll go past the yellow by uh, three or four inches. Yeah. Oh. Not ideal, but um, thing is, he wants to roll it in, but he can't because it's an in-off. It's an in-off, and he's so going to have to play the shot. Punch it. Yeah. <laughs> don't you hate that? <laughs> Just a <the> small <laughs> thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, he's going uh, left-hand pocket. Nice, yeah, pop. It's nice pop. <laughs> Lee and Sahil, I'm glad that we could reunite you too. Looks like a little bit of a love fest that you got going on there. <laughs> There are other forums where you can um, organise your next date. Someone's cut breaking. Someone's cut breaking. Doesn't he normally do that? I, we played him in the teams last night and I don't remember him cut breaking. Maybe he's struggling with the break, he's trying to new, new stuff. Mm. Singles is the place to do it. Yeah. So what are you looking at here? Hmm. Alex is looking at yellow. Like some sort of plant or a beard shot or something. There you go. Three ball plant, that's a nice shot. Hasn't really got the positional reward for no, it. No, he hasn't. <coughs> 
not like, he's not really on a, a shot. There's no cover, there's no pot. This will have to be maybe creative. He's going to try and maybe glance this yellow off that red. Yeah, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. Uh, not really. From where he was, that's good. Oh, from where he was, but um, you'd, you'd hazard a guess to say that he uh, shouldn't, but he shouldn't have been there in the first place. What's going on over here? Jake, oh, Jake at the table. Peter Bowworth just won four on the try. Well, well Kakiola was three zip up, so um, I know Butters is determined this weekend. Does it? Well, and it's not being um, ancillary or anything like that, but all the all the Victorian boys are here just to make a huge mark. Yeah. Yeah. Whether it be teams. Or the same with same with the WA boys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're here to have a good time and do well. Um, someone's asking for the score of the Kale and Nick Young game. I'll, I'm pretty sure it's not on being live. No, live it's scored. Not so no, I'll, it's I might get down to keep checking. Hang on, uh, another Victorian boy's here. I'll go and see if he can find out. Yeah. Uh, just been told that Nick Young is down 3 2. So Andy's back at the table. Should be out here, Andy. Should be out? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Just getting down the table for those two in the middle because the yellows are in the way a little bit. Mm. But it shouldn't be a problem. I'm not sure whether Andy's... Um, not, not sure whether Andy's actually found the pace of these tables yet today. Um, and that's, that's going to be his only concern. That's pretty good. I think he's on the right side of it. Yeah, he, he can he can transition through. Probably hold on that yellow that's just up above the centre, and um, and then just pick those two off that are. I think he's somewhat straight. I I think he's only got a tiny bit of angle. Yeah, that's the problem. Now, do you take the middle now? You're going to come in and move in a bad situation, so you're going to have to take the charity. Mm. Get back and you move in the light, what, three, four foot? Yeah. Could go wrong. Any, any problem with that, taking that first one, in the, the closest one into the middle bag, is it's going to kick that other one up the top into yeah. the table. That's what I'm thinking. So if I'm playing, I'm either playing it really softly or I'm playing it really hard. Mm. You know, if I'm trying to get the line out or trying not to move it much. It's interesting to see what he does with it. <laughs> This is the shots you learn from. Um, Simon Study Simpson, no. Jake and Ben aren't playing oh, the men's that's team. For beautiful the shot. Jake actually didn't try out for the um, for the men's team this year, and Benny was runner-up in the men's singles to uh, Matty Harwood. Matty Harwood, but um, decided not to go. He's he's uh, been concentrating on the Supreme and everything like that. So. Andy's played a beautiful shot there. He's just run off it really gently, and it's onto the top left corner. <coughs> Very well controlled. I should be able to get past the yellow. There it is. Yeah, yeah so that's that's an end. That's an end. That's an Andy out here. Yep. Kale should finish. Alex. You mean Alex? Why am I calling Kale? Because we're, we're trying to get the Kale scores to <laughs> by the crowd. Yeah. Because um, <laughs> they're both as good as each other. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, sorry, Alex should do his, should go out here. Yeah. Getting back to uh, Jake and Ben, the competition between them and the and the banter and everything like that has been pretty fierce the last couple of days. So. What happened? Uh, I think Benny's Benny and Cam Wallace have reminded Jake about 427 times in 24 hours that um, Jake's never won an Australian singles title. So, mm -hmm. yeah. 
didn't need much to fire him up, but um, he just sort of laughed and, and he's actually then put it back on Benny and said um, and rattled off a few of the tournament that he won and, and, and Benny hasn't. So, yeah. Well, Jake's going to have to get back into this match because Andy's not looking badly. <clears throat> and we all know Andy's break's pretty solid. Good than being solid. If, oh no, last ball oh, rolling. He caught it early, and <laughs> ah, that that red just came out of nowhere. So uh, I actually, I, I was looking at, it and I thought, oh yeah, it's going to hit it, but um, I didn't know that it was actually going to drop it. So, yeah. um, what do you want here? Yellows? I like, I like reds. They link better. I going to take yellow. No, I like reds. Only one of us can be wrong. I think this one's on to the left middle. Oh, no, I don't know. That's good. That's a good shot. Yeah, it's good. It's good position for Andy. Mm. It's a little bit awkward. It's a bit too thin on both middles. So. Uh, there's so many available spots in the singles, and it's generally more than uh, what there is in the teams. For 96 draw, I think. Yeah, 96 draw. So uh, there's not that many players that um, in the teams. The masters like to play in them as well. Some of the masters players get the spots. <coughs> yeah, but um, yeah, no. Look, Benny and Jake, they're actually um, they're seated. Well, they're ranked in the in the Australian, so uh, they get they actually get first preference of playing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kicks just made it made it a little bit difficult for Andy there. It's, um, I think it's a lot difficult now. It's, what shot do you play here? No, the only thing is the only if he wants to pot something, the only thing he's got up the up the up the top left. Mm, drop it in. And drop it in, and if he doesn't miss it, Jake's out. Pretty much. <coughs> This is definitely Andy's money shot, this frame. Mm -hmm. he, won't, he won't be going to the bank. No, he won't be going to the bank. He'll just be going back to watch um, Jake finish this off. <laughs> it's not difficult to go from a player to a spectator very quickly in this game, is it? Yep. Jake will be looking to get down onto this one down the bottom fairly early, so that he's um, so he can get some angle on that. And uh, oh, he doesn't want that in. Don't think he wanted uh, that in. Didn't want that in. But look, he's he's still all there. He's um, he's got enough angle or follow through to come down to this one on the bottom okay. rail. Mm. I reckon he's going to take this this uh, middle ball into the bottom right. Yeah. Take the yellow down here, uh, and then he's got. A Couple of options up the top, so if he um, if he overruns it, he's got the one up and behind ball. Mm -hmm. Or the middle. Or the, yeah, or the middle. Yeah. So that's that's beautiful. That's, that's, that's angle. the perfect angle. So he should be able to just play this fairly naturally. Then he's got the, the top right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He needs this, Jake. Pardon? Jake needs this one. Yeah. Oh. Most certainly. That's stiff. That's what we call a hanger. Mm. Bunny's ball's not close enough to the pocket for it to be really safe. No, but and he can easily get on that red. Oh, he can easily get down there. Might have to take his cherry up the top left to get back up table. Oh, he's cut the, yeah, this is a shot. Come in the middle and come around the back of it. No, oh, now it's hard. Mm. <coughs> I that shot was on. Face, face cut double here. Mm. No, I think he'll, he'll come back for it. I think he'll have one more go at trying to land on it. I'm taking it. 
taking my top left and my middle one. I'm trying to screw in behind this one. I think, I think that's the way. He thinks he's got other ideas, I think. Well, he's certainly um, having a look at all options. Mm. And he's taking yours. Twenty careful seconds. Careful of the throw on this. Oh, he's rubbed off that back quite nicely, I think. Yeah, he is, but he's going to have to... He's too thin. He's too thin on the Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. He's going to have to be happy with the double, I'd say. Well, he's too thin, otherwise he's, uh, he's going to play some <coughs> play some screw, to screw inside. Oh, no, actually, probably just some side to try and get him across the table. Here, otherwise he's going to have to be confident with his... Um, so Alex has brought that back to four all. And it... Um, He's looking a little bit determined now. He's not looking angry. This is the shot. Oh, so he's loading up. Oh, that's awkward. That's it's only your face cut, isn't it? Pretty much. Pretty much. It's his only option. And you've got to be careful of the double kiss on the way out. Mm. Mm. And it's awkward for him too. He's not a big man. He's reaching three quarters of the table. Mm -hmm. well, he's going to kill it. Just Butters six three up. For all, <coughs> Butters is Butters is one six on the trot. Yeah, that's huge. He's he's, he's working hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> there won't be no hill hill there, will there? <laughs> what would I say? Six out of eight. Yeah. All the others are all the others are looking pretty close. Yeah. Oh, he's halfway Harry, is he? Yeah. Look, he's got the opportunity, that, that ball, it's the red, the yellow that's up in the ball there, just to snooker, um, yeah. touch on that and snooker in. It's not ideal, though. No, it's not ideal, but um, he may even play it with a little bit of screw and sit it right behind the black. Or he may just uh, cut this into the middle and... What a shot do what Jake McCartney does. That is a great shot. Does he oh, okay, Jake see. normally plays, everyone talks about Jake's shot to nothing, so did he just roll this and then put the back in the middle so he's got the shot to nothing? Or does he play it full confidence to get good position? Oh, he's going he's gonna to play it reasonably firm to get some position. Okay. <coughs> middle or bottom left, take your pick. Middle. Still, on the, still in the bunk bed tonight, Jake. Fours. Four alls. Just trying to see how many viewers we've got on here today. 250 today. 350. There should be at least 600 watching these these people play. It's um, they deserve a bigger audience. If you've got any mates that are at work, tell them to take the day off and come home and watch this. Or well, just watch it while they're working. <laughs> they could do that too. <laughs> That's what most of the WA does. <coughs> Yeah, you look about two days behind us, aren't you? Something like that. We're, we're about ten years behind in a lot, a lot of other things. <laughs> well, I've visited Perth quite a number of times, and I wasn't going to say that because I'm, I'm not. I'm mean, not contrary to popular belief. I can be nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a nice new stadium there now. That's, that's good. Trouble is, you can't get to it, can you? Not, no, by, no, not by train. No, no, no public transport. No, there's trains there, but you've got to wait too long for the next... You've got to wait for the fourth train when you walk up. Aren't they, um, they going to build a bridge? Oh, the bridge is there. Is it? But it goes into East Perth, not it's like the city. <laughs> if you want to walk to the city, it's uh, probably 40 minutes. Look, it's a lovely city, mm. apart from North Bridge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, 20 seconds. Coming I used to work four years ago, they, the head office was actually in St George's Terrace, so yeah. um, I used to go over there a fair bit and um, 
and then uh, a few years later I'd, I'd go over there and stay up at Scarborough. Oh, so, uh, Scarborough's beautiful. Yeah. I stay up in the big tower there. Yeah, OBH. Um, oh, no, it's Rendezvous, isn't it? Yeah, the Rendezvous, yeah. 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 At the Stanford uh, pub down the down yeah. the stairs, which was always a bit of a hoot, and then across the road uh, there was a bit of a hippie, uh, not a hippie, but a surfy nightclub there. Yeah, right that's on the not, corner. That's, that's not there anymore, isn't it? That used to be called the Lookout. Oh wow! Yeah, that was too dodgy. They shut it down. <laughs> oh geez, I used to go and have some good times there. Oh, he's landed the wrong side here. Oh no! Oh. No, no, he's, he's fine there. He's oh, I don't think he's fine. fine. I think he's running into the yellows. I honestly think he's catching that yellow. Yeah, look, if he, if he plays it at a, at, a, at a nice, easy pace, he's, he's OK. Even if he does flick off that yellow, it's actually going to progress, uh, progress the white ball down here a little bit. Yeah, it's like so that four. Yeah. All right, I, th I think he's played that probably a little bit too firm, a bit too much of a bottom. Mm, it's hard to say. This is for the for the Peter Butterworth there, yeah. has just part of his last... Colour. I didn't see where that red finished, now the white finished up, did he, is he on it? I think he is, isn't he? Oh, just getting Mr Power to um, see if Butters is on that black, okay? Let's do, let's do the ball left. Oh, okay, so he's... So Butters has got two more... <coughs> hey? He's got two more yellows. He's good. He's done a good... <coughs> And he's uh, run out of position now, slightly. He should have been right on this and he's come up short. So now he's got to, I don't know what he's going to do to be honest. Oh, oh that is a, that is a beautiful shot. It's so is. hard to dead weight that in. Yeah. They're the ones like when you, when you hit them, you think it's not going to pull up short and it mm. just gets to the pocket. Yeah. Like you couldn't. So Butters Peter, for the win. Peter Butterworth's <laughs> just gone run seven in a row. That's absolutely huge. Michael Cacciola's come out of the blocks, three zip up. Peter Butterworth's then just gone seven zip on him. Go you, Vix. So Andy to go five four up. Yeah, that was a nice out under the circumstances. Hmm. Yeah, he made it for him. Made it tough for himself on a few of those shots, but um, yeah, no, he's come up trumps. Alex over there made a good pot out of the snooker in the black. It's a nice break. Nice. Yeah. Yellow off. Yellows are nice. The yellows are very good. Left centre, yep. left top, yep. right centre. Yes. Uh, right rail. Yep, bottom right, yep, the rail, yep. And then you can flip across. And then either one of the last yep. two is fine, yep. depending on the angle. <coughs> Barney, Barney's holding himself well here. Waiting for you to start getting a little bit worried. <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah. There's nothing on it today, is there? Or no. is there a drink? Oh no, there's nothing on it. Nothing on it? No. I, don't, I don't mind who wins. Just, I just, just want to see a good map. Just some breathing, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't usually have much to brag about, so when oh, I do, it? I just get <laughs> yeah, So um, I'm yeah. just forewarning. Okay. There's a couple of people in the room you can go and ask. Yeah. Go and ask JR and and, um, and actually ask Butters. Yep. Say, what's this haircut bloke like? And they'll just shake their head and walk mm. away. <laughs> so Alex has done exactly as we anticipated. He's a, he's a good good pool player, isn't he? Yeah, he's hey? very good. He's got the same mindset as us. How the, how the hell is he so much better? Because his Q action is very good. Mm. <laughs> um, so, yeah, see what angle he lands here. Which ball he wants. <coughs> That's a nice shot, choice of two. Yeah. Now he's got a little bit of work to do with this. 
He's going to have to. Um, he's going to try and have to finish up where he is now if he takes the bottom left, or if he takes the bottom right, come and kiss back into that red. But he doesn't want to then run that red too close to the black, because mm -hmm. at the moment his black options are left of centre. Yeah, and that's it. It's just oh, this is a bit this. Oh, oh, that's shot. a super shot. That's beautiful, isn't so it? So he, he can play this, kick off the red, yes. and then kick it back out to where he is. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a great shot. That's beautiful. That's, that's so good. Alex goes to the hill. He made that look way easier he than did. that was. That's ridiculous. Somebody test him. Yeah. He's, he's ensuring that that's not a hill hill nut. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. I mean, someone could uh, drag back the next two, two frames. Ben Noon is 6-3 up. <coughs> yeah, well, that one's Melbourne against Ballarat. Mm. We've got a safety battle on the uh, Jake and Andy's game. Hmm. Oh, he cut that thin as you can cut it. It just moves. No, it, it just moved. Just moved. Can you get a refund on that, Dan? Just get a refund on the last shot, yeah, I'm pretty sure. He can cut this red, dead way, as thin as you can cut it. He's going to get a replay up of this. <laughs> He's got that by the finest. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it rocked it's, it's, roll, it's rolled back to where it was in the original <laughs> position. We got, the head of, we got the head adjudicator here behind us. What do you reckon? That was a fair shot, wasn't it? Jake's, Jake's last Lance, Lance likes it. <laughs> no, no, they didn't. No. Yes, we all agree that it moves. That was a, a legitimate shot. That was an interesting shot by the way. Yeah, well he's given he's given Andy a couple of different difficult uh, next balls, so um the one up the uh, just short of the ball on the left hand side that doesn't go past the yellow. He's got a difficult reach for this one here and control the white ball. The one that's dead set in the middle of the table. He's yeah, Ben just won. Ben Nunes beat James Stevens 7 3. There's one of my hill hills. Yeah. Good on your roomie. So you that's my roommate. So there's six matches left. Come on, you boys. <laughs> you need all, you need all nail, your heels. <laughs> nail biters, come on. <laughs> what did you say? Four. I said four or less. So if it's, so if it's four or less. Yeah. So if it's five. You're, you're a standoff. It's a standoff, yeah. <laughs> mm, oh, this is going to be a good tactical battle here because Andy likes the tactical <laughs> Jake's very good at that. Mm. Jake might go the out here actually. Right off the red. Just needs to get. But he's quite yellow in He can't get position on the middle anymore. He's going to have to play the red off the yellow. Get a nudge. The red over on the left hand side. Yeah. Or get a nudge. What do you prefer? I'm looking that he's going to try and he's going to try and extract that. 
He's going to try and separate those three in the next two shots. Uh, I'm saying try and separate it one time. And if it doesn't work, then play it off the other He's going to do it now. There that's you go. beautiful, isn't it? He's not only, every time he goes to take, he's not only just got the pot in mind, he's going to yeah. try and extract something or or, um, or improve its position. So it was either that shot or the next shot. If he didn't yeah. get that shot, he was going to go again. You he, oh, yeah, he always does. He, he, he goes... Yeah, I like to do it once, and if it doesn't work, then I'll, I'll find another way. Because <laughs> otherwise the hole starts getting bigger. But I'm, but I'm not as good as Jake, so that's probably why. Yeah, so this is now, this is going 5-5. Five, five. This is it. You reckon? He's, he's out. Got, you've got that a few times, man. He's out? He's out? He's out doing he, this He's way. out this time. I, with Jake, you haven't seen him play many, like make many mistakes later in the frame. It's always been early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he's trying to, um, you know, take control. Yeah. But later in the frame, he will not do that. If he knows that he's got an opportunity to go out, he's not going to, he's not going to fluff it. So that was he was looking he was looking at that ball up the table before he played that shot. So he's played that to perfection that one. I think he, I think he thought he had a choice because if he goes too far, he's on the middle. Oh, oh Andy Urquhart, what have you done? My God, he's just destroyed the name on the back of that shirt. <laughs> oh. uh, so what's out here for oh, Barney? Commentator's but... curse. Sorry, Jake. I don't know what the shot is here. I don't mind rolling the white up to the top two yellows on the right and top line and leaving him to the yeah. sneaker. Or what he's doing and trying to tuck up in behind him for a sneaker. <laughs> I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing. He's going to pop the cherry and tuck up the sneaker behind him. Oh, he's tucking up on this one. Oh, that, oh, yeah, that's all right. Just leaves the kick into the middle, that's all. Oh, Sarwin's missed that easy red into the middle. That's the third one. Big chance for Alex to um, take the match in this frame, mm. in this this one. Yeah, he's gone. I think he's gone well. I think he's trying to try and sneak it, but he's fallen short. Oh, he's taken two cherries and hasn't gained an advantage. Mm. I wouldn't mind betting he's actually going to go for the out there. Yeah, you might have to now because mm -hmm. will you double the back one or cut in the middle? Um. Cut, in, cut the first one into the middle and then he's actually going to knock that, that at second one out. Look, he's, he's probably thinking, I can't. If I go to play safe and I don't get it... Yeah, he's going for the sneaker. And he hasn't got it. It's not bad. <laughs> Pretty natural... Um, oh, no, he's, he's probably... Hitting getting, black. He's hitting the black and you're not getting position. No, no, no. Oh, you mean doubling? It's the top red. Yeah. You're doubling it? Yeah. Because then you're hampered. You're trying to use it. That makes the shot way harder. I don't know. Maybe you might double this red up to the top right. Yeah, that's a fair call. Mm. Yeah. Too skinny. Yellow, but too skinny. I think he's played for a good white, and then he's, he's tried to get it that side, but yeah. he, you know what I mean? he really wanted to just leave him off those two. Mm. <laughs> he just covered the hole here, I'd say. Yeah. Alex Pace has just got up 7-4. We're in the middle, we're at five. Yeah. That's really good five. That was a nice shot from uh, Barney. Oh, come on, Alec and Dave. Just bore each other, bore everyone and just go one, 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 one and um, I don't care who wins. Um, come on the New South Wales boys, or should I say New South Wales versus Maroon Blue. Yep. Um, Kale Barrett 3-5-3 three, three up on Nick Young. Nick's got to uh, lift up a game a bit. That's a great nice result shot from Jake. Yeah, that's a good result. 
What do you play here? I'm just running off this hill, they're leaving a long white. Face cutting it and leaving the white back yeah. up this yeah, top, I'm not the top for rail. The pot. I'm not going for the pot, I'm just playing no, the no, white. No. <coughs> just playing those shots over distance up there for Jake will be nasty. Mm. Yeah, so just face, face cut this and leave. Try and finish the white up near the um, the table the table badge. That's pretty good. He's not gonna be, he shouldn't be terribly happy with that. No, he'll be very happy. That's a good shot. Oh, look. Jake, Jake's actually got... Nothing. He, no, he has. He's got something here. Tell me. Hey? Tell me. He, he's either going to uh, run the red ball yeah. up to this top, uh, bottom right, or he's going to try and cut it and get across and, and kick that yellow and red out. You're thinking too aggressively. <laughs> Come on, Jake. Jeez, he was pumped this morning. He said, I'm going to go out and hammer this bloke. <laughs> he's not using a hammer. He's using a foam <laughs> kiddies toy. Another good shot. Um, he's left him on it off the cushion. Wow, if he gets this, Jake, that'll be some shot. Ah, you know what he's doing? Yeah, he's Billy shutting off the yellow. No, he's um, he's actually going to come off the side rail on that on that red near bork and kick it over onto his other red. Yeah, I know. Yep. He's Billy shutting it off the yellow. <coughs> this is a 1 in 30 for the pot. What do you say? Yeah, he is human. That's a, good That's a huge shot. That's a huge shot. <laughs> There's not many not many players that actually even look at that, let alone attempt it. Do you reckon the red being there helped him or hampered him? Do you know what I mean? Like if the red wasn't near the pocket, if there was just a free pocket, do you reckon there's more chance to get that? Oh look, I, he's probably would have he probably would have made that red if the if he hadn't if the um, if the plant wasn't there. Yeah, that's what I think. So if Andy doesn't extract this yellow off the black. He hasn't got a pot in it. There's no, no pots anywhere. These ones are hard to sell on camera because sometimes they're on in the middle when they don't look like it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because if there's like an, a centimetre gap between those balls, it's on. The way he's playing it, I'm pretty sure it's on because he wouldn't leave the cannon until last, I don't reckon. So he's going to He's going to hope and he's going to try and separate this these out now. I think it's on because he, if he if it wasn't on, he would have tried to cannon that earlier. Yeah. Right. So I'm pretty sure it's onto the left middle. But it's it's pinpoint accuracy. This one, yeah. this spot. That's a shot. It's a good shooting, Barney. Yeah, well, Barney wins this. Jake's uh, next three on the trot. You think he's going to do a butters? Yep. This uh, ninth frame between Nick and Kale has taken a bit of a while. All these uh, frames, on, all them three matches have taken a while. Well, I'd say that the um, the Brent and the Travis one, if it's not being umpired, that'll take a fair while. I think Jake will master break this one. He hasn't gone close to, to, to making a master all um, all morning, so that's a big call. I just think he's like all class and when he needs to get one he gets one. Oh yeah. I see it all the time when I watch his games. Yeah, I see the pests are up and about. A couple of your teammates. Yeah. They're all right. Pests are out in town. Still got to have a word to be our border control with yeah. yeah, a few of the pests that they're bringing over. 
<laughs> here we go. Yes, Jakey, that's... Well, it's going it's gonna, okay. it's gonna to have to be red. Yeah, it will be, have to be red. There'll be a couple of cannons. A few big extractions. Yeah, there'll be two extractions. It'll be like the baker's going to the, um, the dentist. Yeah, he'll get these. There'll be a few extractions. Beautiful shot. Now he's got the angle to put in the bottom left. Get right bottom into him. And get, get right and into smack everything. Smack that pack apart. Yeah. It might only be one cannon, but it'll be a big one. <laughs> yes, this, this shot's going to be like the uh, Hong Kong police. <laughs> Why is that? Oh, well, the riot. Getting into the riots. Yeah, they're getting into the riots. <laughs> he's going to one of them. Is that, that, is goes, that red on? That red goes in the middle, yes. Yep. Okay. So first extraction. Yeah. Mm, must be on. Oh, tell by his body language. He's tucking up. Tucking up, or is he going to? Um, can't he just play some right side on that and just? Turn it in? Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's happy with it. Okay. Play the safety, is it? Yeah. That's not. <laughs> Come on, the producer's uh, not helping us out of here. He's flicking things around. Can't see a thing. He can make a mistake or two, that's fine. Well, Makes only, up for it with all only, the only 16 hour days or something for him, so. <laughs> know what his problem is. Let's play the safe one. That's a great that's shot. A great that's shot. a great shot. Yeah. That's a very good result. Mm. So Jake doesn't want to do anything down here if he can't pot something to to um to break that this bottom red and yellow out. So he's gonna have to try and leave them there I think. Oh, he's going for this. Oh, it's not bad. No, oh, that's a good cover. He doesn't mind that. I think the only, the only thing that Barney can pot is the top. He can double. Double's good. Yeah, but hasn't it that, that yellow up near the ball? Can that go inside <coughs> the red off, maybe off the knuckle? I'm more worried about the red that's touching, uh, the yellow that's touching the red down the bottom right. Hmm. Oh, he's playing the double. Yeah. Oh, he's hit it. Too straight. Oh, that's a result. That's not bad. That's, that's, a, that's a good result. Mm. Trouble yeah, is, for, for Barney now, is that Jay can play this top right and then come out with some angle. Mm. The yeah. one that's on the on the bottom right, the right cushion. Yeah. And then he can, he can get yeah. some extraction on that other yeah. red from the yellow. So... Yeah. You predicted it. He's a bit thin though. Yeah, well, he can still play. He, he, can, he can actually still play with, with a lot of side, with, with some side, mm -hmm. kick off the rail square, yeah. and, and then knock the yellow out. And then he's, he's looking at sitting fat on that red that's yeah. below the yellow at the moment. Yeah. Oh. But it's still a good leave. It's not bad. Yeah. And look, even if he had a pot of that, he's, he's got the bottom rail mm. inside, and, yeah. and, and isn't out there. So, so he's uh, he's played that very well on both accounts. What do you play? What do you play as a handy? Pardon? What are you going to play? Um, I don't see a shot. I don't see one either. Safe so yeah, no good. Just just try and lie up the top, but he's he's going to have to get it behind something. Oh, wow. Wow. Still two more still two more big ones to go. Yeah, well Jake's got two pockets on him. You've, I think you've got to play the double here, right? Into the middle, come off three cushions and get in behind one of these two. Yeah, definitely he's got to come back to try and get back down the bottom of the yeah. table here. Yeah. Actually, this yellow near the black spot goes off the red into the pocket. 
If yeah, we need it. But he's got to get there. Oh, he should go for this. He's playing take the out. snooker. I don't oh, like that's the snooker. Terrible. I don't that's, like the snooker. That's terrible. It's too easy to put the red. He should have gone for the double there. Jake's too good of a player. He's too hard. But he's, he's just said, come on, Jake. He's one of the easiest shots you're going to play. I guess he's thinking, oh, the scoreboard pressure's on you. You're going to have to make this. But he, he'll get it. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed it everywhere. Wow. That's okay. That's, that's, that's still not too it's not, bad. It's not fast, Nico. The one, the one on the rail. He hasn't got a pot on. <coughs> oh, he'll play yellow into yellow, get them both out, oh, yeah, and then but, go again. Yeah. But playing that way, he's, he's still going to be losing control. But there's no way that's a fast, Nico. Not even close. You, you can't get, you can't get sneakered by your own ball, no. Andy. <laughs> Jeez, you're in Australia now, mate. It's not... Um, <laughs> It's not a foul sneaker. It's not a foul sneaker. You can't get snooped by your own ball. What the fuck? The, the side rail one. I can see clearly by Dan's King Angle. Oh, Lance has had to work hard this, this week so far. We've had him out a couple of times. Oh, actually. Oh, actually, that is. It's definitely. Yeah. That's tight. That's very tight. Where's Bert's string line? Come on. Donnie, go and get your string line. Where is he? <laughs> Donnie Colbert's got a string line in his. Yeah. In his pocket. They're still looking. <coughs> we, we, we can't get the other angle, can we? Actually, let's... <coughs> nah, it's not. <laughs> Honestly, it's not. See? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's, he hasn't brought it out enough, has he? Can we get the other angle no, back? No, it's that is oh, no, no, that's oh. on. No, he's on. He's on. He's on this one in the in the middle left. It's not easy. That's not easy. Uh, every day of the week, <laughs> it goes. <laughs> but you know what? You got to drop it in, and then you're wrong you know, side you know, of the you other know middle. What, you know what he? You know, you know what he needs to do? He needs to have the right Alex hmm. on this one. Look, if he, if he drops this here on the middle right. If you, even if he gets it, it's the wrong side of the other yellow for the other middle. You see what I mean? Mm. He's going to play the double. Oh, he's overcut it. Take the feed off this. I think you, you might get a heel heel game here, Andy. You think so? I think you get a heel heel game. Well, for Jake to win it, he's going to have to go heel hill. Yeah. So. He should have played that, that yellow's on. That <laughs> I wish I could say, oh yeah, you go, you go play that. Mate, I'll, <laughs> That's play, hard I'll, I'll play that nine out of ten times. And you get it. Honestly, I'll play that nine out of ten times. Okay. I play on these tables yeah. every week. Yeah, okay. Jody, um, it's it's on. It's, uh, we'll agree to disagree because I thought it was. We will, yeah. I'll say it was on, but I'll say it's a. Uh, I'll say it's a one in five. <coughs> well, now we know Andy's Achilles heel. He's uh, tight shots into the middle. He doesn't like the middle drop. He doesn't dropping. like them, no. Take notes. Take notes. Everyone in Australia, if you want to be Andy. So I reckon that was about 100 mil down from the pocket and probably about 40 mil off the side. 
So you later, when you're when you when, you, when, <laughs> when you, did you when ever you, measure that? You didn't measure that. Wait, look what I've got here. What do you got there? You measured it. Oh, where's my where's my ruler? <laughs> The only thing you can do, right, is go. Dan can take a screenshot of that, then put the camera on and we'll, and like the like the snooker, the snooker referee, and we'll respot it. Yeah, okay. We'll respot yeah, the balls, yeah, yeah. right? Can we do that, Dan? <laughs> so Dan will take a screenshot. We'll respot the balls to exactly where they are, and then you play the shots. Okay. Feedback, sissing by 1983. That's all right. Some people think we're pretty good, and they um, they don't agree with a lot of the other commentators. So um, we live in a democratic society. Andy's dumped the white on this break. <laughs> what are you taking here? Tricky. It's 50-50. I would say personal preference. I like reds though. <laughs> I would take reds. Yeah, no, reds. Reds is uh, reds is definitely go. Well, he's got um, a couple of easy extractions there. That's a beautiful there. shot. So as I said before, Jake's uh, Jake's always looking at an extraction as early as he possibly can. Needs one more there. <laughs> you could screw into this now. You could play the chair and screw into it now. Then it's, you won't get in position. So I think he's going to try and find another way to do it. Go on, Jake. He wanted. To, I think he wanted to be on the top left, and then be on the middle to then cannon it. Uh. Oh, he's, he's actually looking to jack up onto this bottom bottom right and extract that red from the yellow on the on the right hand side. Going to have to now. And that's a beautiful shot. That's so nice. That is massive shot. And that's what he does. His first, his what? next, always his next shot. I told you it's he's, going hill hill. Yeah. But I also told you he was going to master last room and he didn't. So. Yeah. No. <laughs> Look, some of these, some of these shots. Um, <laughs> yep, you're right there, Anthony. Um, that was the money ball. He's actually going to try and promote the black down the rail now. Yep. So you see what he's trying to do? Yeah. He's trying to come back on the black and kick it, it over. You got a free shot of it. That's yeah. fine. He'll, he'll probably double the black now. You play, you see Jake play, he'll double the black? Yeah, look, he'll leave. That, that, that's, that should be a soda for him. Is it harder if the black's touching the cushion to double it? It's more the angle, I think. Yeah, so then you just leave yourself more angle. Yeah. In that case, right? <coughs> He's gone for another free shot. He's still trying to get it off. <laughs> he's, he's, that's he's, exactly he's right. He's yeah. been a greedy yeah. boy. But, but this is what happens, you see. He went for it, and yeah. now he's just slightly out of position. The pool girls are, are having a bit of a dig at him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what do you play here, Jake? He's like, why did I do that? I shouldn't have done that. I should have played the double. <laughs> so, so the outside red down the bottom here, and he's then going to try and run into the red. That's if you're going to play that, you've got to come off three cushions to get back up table for the middle. No, no, he's going to... Oh, ouch. Damn. You know what? That yellow goes off the red in the middle. It does, yeah. He's got more dead balls to worry about as well. Mm. You play the middle first on the left yellow, go into the other yellow on the rail, on the left rail. There's one of them done. Mm. You still got the top and bottom rail ones. And Andy can't afford to uh, try and play safe. Oh, no. Because no he, hasn't, he hasn't been able to do that most of the match. Mm. So push that down. That's one. Hit it. Hit it too thick. So now he's got.
got a lot of work to do. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the shot's for here. He could go with snooker. So Sissingi, um, who's in trouble now? It's pretty even, I'd say. He's going the snooker. That's a good shot. That is a good shot. You can see the first red. Yeah. And immediately he's going the plant. No, he's gone. I think he's trying to put it clean or just nick the red. I uh, no, that no, plant's way too hard. You would never. Uh, actually, all he needs to do is, is aim this um, aim this bottom red to the top left, top right, and he's got the plant. Oh. Poor gods are getting him. I'm telling you. Well, they're certainly not making it uninteresting, are they? Now, the snooker's there, but I don't know. I think Jake's a good enough player to get out of the snooker. <coughs> so this 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 match just goes to show how much respect they got for yeah. each other because it's one of the last of where each I would have thought it would have been one of the first that was gone mm. bang 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 bang. Mm. But now it's um, there's only two or three other matches going in the whole room, so um, I run off this ball and get the snooker on the rail. <coughs> and if Jake pops out I'm, I'm happy to lose that way. Oh he's gone that way. So that's See, I, I would have run the other side of that yellow and left the one on the right hand side rail. You can have to have a, make a little bit of a swerve, I'd say. No, I think that's on. That's on clean. Come on, Jake. He's going to have to hit hard enough to kick out into the middle of the table. <laughs> and so then he's got the right angle on the mm. double and the black. Yeah, that's the shot. Top left corner. Actually. Yeah, no, top right corner and um, kick the black out. No, top left corner and double. Dan caught the perfect camera angle for that. Mm. Now you sneaker, you run off this quarter ball and you tuck right in behind. Mm. And, and then if you, yeah, if you notice, if if you watch the replay on that one, the amount that he feathered there was probably half the time of what he does in normal shots. Oh really? Okay. So he's actually hurried that. Yeah. Okay. He's, he's got a feather of about five or six times. That was that was two, maybe three. That's the shot I'm talking about. Now Andy's yeah. got him on lockdown mode. I think you've got to tuck up. What do you think here, Andy? Nearly every player in this room will tuck up here. Yeah, just 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 tap in. Yeah. He had no other option. Yeah. Another snooker? Look, he may want to clear some of these and then play another snooker down here. I like the snooker he because can then they can't tap up because you'll have a ball near the hole. That's why I like the snooker. Yeah, that's the shot. See, now Jake can't tap up. No, he can't. He, well, he might actually be come under. He might actually come up off the, down off the bottom rail and come up behind the mm. that yellow that's down the bottom there, and that's as good as tapping up. Yeah, but he's going for it. Now he's got it, and that's mm. that's probably not a bad result because. Um, He's tucking up again. <laughs> but again, it's it's, it's, a, it's a short one cushion. Yeah, I don't agree with that shot. I would have played the pot. That, that's that's. I would have played the pot. Come up here and made another sneaker. That's what I would have done. Yeah, but Barney's um. 
Barney, Barney's had an opportunity to, to go out, go for it here. Shot, Jay. Shot, I don't like the snooker because you're leaving that ball up there and it's a problem. Mm. But if Jay leaves you on it, you take it. It's a nice, nice pace. But again, it's a... Uh, it's a one... Um, one cushion get out. Yeah, but it's not really about just getting out of it. It's, you got to do something with it. Mm. What if it goes dead? Yeah. If it goes dead, then Andy's huge favourite. Oh, that's a good effort, Jake. Right? Okay. It's gone dead. I might have a crack at these. I like where the balls are sitting. Hmm. I'm going to play my cherry now. I'm going to get on one of those two yellows to the middle. Mm. His, his position, his positional play when he has been putting the last few frames hasn't been um, desirable. Mm. It's going to be an easy, it's going to be an easy snooker for him. Hey? He just rolls up onto this. Um, <laughs> if he can hit it full, red. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't even need to hit it full. Just play a little bit of run through. He might have left that on. That might uh, be on. You're going to do a little bit of left hand side on it. I reckon that's on. Well, these are the, these are the big shots like, to find a match. <laughs> you yeah. cut this one in double the black and it hurts so much. Apparently Cal Barrett won. Not sure of the score. It's not bad though. That's a good that's a good result for him, even though um, the pot hasn't gone. And he's still got that ball up on the top rail. Yeah, should have got rid of it four shots ago. He, exactly, instead of tucking up behind it. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can't kind of force to take this on now. It's, I don't the red's too close to the pocket to snooker in. Jake can mm. now Jake can pot it out of the snooker. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go for this because I'm going to roll the black down in or over. I like that. Oh, he's run out of position again. He's just lo totally lost the pace of this table. You could have been anywhere except there and been hot. <laughs> Oh, what's he going to play now? And there's the angle, folks. <laughs> Does he Come play on, honey. I think he played the, 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 the middle one, uh, the closest one to him. He plays that to his top right. Or is he going to play? Or is he going to sneak He's snookering again. <laughs> he just loves putting in the snooker, doesn't he? <laughs> but it's it's a one cushion out. It's a one cushion out of the snooker. I know, but he didn't have a pot. So it was, from where he was, it's fine. But I don't mind it so much because these rails are sliding so much, so it's hard to come out of snooker. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if Jake judges it. If it, if he doesn't pot it, he's going to leave the yellow one. Or, or, not, or, not. or not. Doesn't left the yellow one. Now, Andy, where can you hide? He's not going to hide. He, he, yeah, he can't afford to hide. you got to go. You have to go here. Yep. Take the long one. 
take the new get punch that on the bottom now, and then double the black. Has to. <coughs> and he's been on the center ball. He might come up and down for the one now. Said he'll heal. Had it here first. If that black dropped in, that would just be. Extract. Been... Extract. Why is he cutting that in? Oh, he doesn't that's need to. Fine. I'll, I'll, I was going to say you should two shots. But I'll play that. Come on. He'll heal. McCarthy Barnett. Now, what are we going to see? Jake's, Jake's doing a Noonan. Going for a break. But I just hope. This is not a master rate because I want to see Andy play a shot in this frame. Because you know I mean? uh, he's feeling it now. He's really feeling it. He, Andy needs to understand or look back on that and go, I had five opportunities in that frame yeah. to take him to the sword. Yeah. And I, I led him back to the table every time. Yeah. And, and Andy didn't take advantage of, of what Jake had given him. Yeah. And so he, it looks like he's pretty much crawled into a little bit of a hole. Yeah, I think it's back so. in his shell. So that's a good thing for for Jake because Jake's intimidated him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, he's, and Andy's tried to put him in the positions and he's got out of him every time. He's got away with him every time. And um, he's up against it. So um, game on. Yeah. That, yeah, was actually, that was actually that was actually interesting to watch not because the quality of pool was good but just the drama factor. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> And look, honest in that one, in that last two frames, Andy's made more mistakes than what Jake has. Oh yeah. Just that the only reason why they haven't finished early is because Andy's put Jake into into some unplayable positions mm. and tried to graft his way back into it, yeah. as opposed to taking control of it yeah. and and saying, right, oh, Jake, I'm going to finish you off now, which he yeah. hasn't done. Yeah. So it'll uh, be interesting the outcome of this last one, obviously, and um, for. Uh, for all of the people out there that want to see these guys match up for a few grand, um, this is the entree. Yeah. <laughs> and there's nothing on it, really, at the moment, apart from a bit of glory. Uh, I mean, this is Andy's first men's Australian men's single, so he, he'd want to do well. Yeah, look, he would. He's, um, but the whole thing is he hasn't come over here without some sort of pedigree. He was a he was, um, good player over in England. And... Um, He's certainly stamped his authority on a few of the locals over here now. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, took apart Ben Noonan the other week. Yeah. No, no mean feat. Yeah. So what are we at? David Ewing's 5-4. Reed is 4-3. Oh. Look, these, these matches have been slow, and I'm, I'm not quite sure how quick... Brent and um, Travis started afterwards, but uh, you know, yeah, they all started at the same time. Yeah. They're, they're two frames behind the slowest play. Yeah. And Jakey has oh. dropped the yellow. Oh my god. And they're on. Yes, they so are. The yellows are looking cherry yellow. <laughs> Cherry. Cherry yellow. <laughs> There's pressure on the opener, but well, he's dropped the yellow, so it doesn't. It's not really a matter. He doesn't need to do a lot with this either. Got it. That's that's a nice confidence shot. That one. Yeah. Now. Yeah. I don't know whether you saw before Jake actually played that first his opener. Yeah. He was actually looking at this this red, this yellow down on the on the bottom left hand side. Yeah. He's actually looking to how am I going to get on that to extract it, or how am I going to get onto that in a couple of shots? Yeah. So if that goes, he'll take it now. He's going to take it. He'll take it now. I have to take it now. And look, if this goes, you'd have to say that. Um, 
that's 760 Jake. Mm. I don't think he wants to mess around anymore. He'd be. Um... Well, he's going to try and get better on it. Oh, I've taken it now. He's a lot straighter on it now. Yeah, actually, that's, that's pretty good. You only have to screw back, what, 10 inches? You're talking about you hope this isn't the master? Yeah, I want, I want to see Andy have a shot. Just to see if the nerves are still in there, you know? Yeah, this is pretty easy. He's just going to uh, follow, run this through and have the... Mm -hmm. the other yellow one in the same pocket and then he's got the black wherever he wants it so um this is what i was telling you about before jake master breaks when he needs it mm. it's unbelievable has <laughs> tristan lost another bet Great well, comeback. That battle. Um, I, thought that, I thought this match actually would have gone a, a bigger margin and some of the others gone smaller, but it's been vice versa. But um, look, if anyone if anyone's just watched that, they've seen two of the two of the best players in Australia go head to head and um, Jake's pulled out the master at the right time and um, got the chocolates. So uh, Andy's got to go back to the team's event and, and try and do some. I hope do some damage there. I hope Andy goes back and watches this, and I might actually go and say to him, like, you know, go back and watch that, and, and just consider a few other options, and you know, because I really think that he took a couple of bad options in not only that frame, another one. Yeah. That. Yeah, and, and and he went from he went from sort of sort of being. Halfway there to uh, trying to be a little bit too positive on on the safety side, yeah. and that's the, that he he actually stopped playing his natural game there. Yeah. So, um, but look anyway, great match both guys. Um, Andy, if you've uh, if you listen to our commentary and you don't like anything, please send me a message and I'll um, I'll try to improve there. But it's just from a uh, from a, uh, an observer's position, but um, well played to you and well played to Jakey, and um, good luck for the rest of the tournament, boys, and we'll sign off for, yeah. until the next round of whatever happens. Have a good day, everyone.